What's up guys, it's Johan here for another Storytime Friday. I'm super excited, I'm up here in Sedona camping. It's really nice, it's kind of an impromptu camping trip. So this week for my story, I decided to tell the story about my first marathon and why I never got my medal, why I never technically finished it, and why I didn't actually start it. <music> Basically, uh, back in 2010, I signed up for the Avenue of the Giants Marathon in the Redwood Forest in California. I trained for it, I got ready for it, but uh, some circumstances meant that I couldn't make the trip. So I was actually never able to go and tow the line at this race. But, and this is where the story starts, I decided that I still wanted to run a marathon. Granted, this race was, uh, I think it was in May, or June of 2010 and so what I decided to do was push back my date to July I think it was July 10th of 2010 and I decided to run my own marathon in Scottsdale Arizona on July 10th 2010 so if you know anything about Arizona you know that it's super freaking hot but that didn't stop me i decided that i wanted to run my first marathon i didn't want to wait until the fall i just wanted to do it so i measured out 26.2 miles in scottsdale i had my mom like like leapfrog me in the car as my mobile aid station and i ran 26.2 miles it took me six hours it was brutal it was super hot it was very slow but i remember coming in i think i had a mile about a mile left and I'm running along towards my house and my dad pulls up next to me in his car and he's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, man, this is hard. And he just suddenly out of the passenger seat lifts up a dozen donuts from Krispy Kremes, a box of donuts. And I looked at it and I was like, hell yeah, donuts. So I took off, finished my last mile and uh, it was cool. I had some friends that kind of came and they like rolled out a, I think it was a piece of toilet paper across the street. I finished my marathon, ate my donuts, had some pizza. I passed out in front of the TV with all my friends at my house. They all left. And then later that night, I actually went and played volleyball with my friends. I didn't do too well, but I was able to play. And so I ran my first marathon. And then it, was, it wasn't until 2012 when I ran my first real marathon, official marathon. And at that point I had gotten really into trail running and I, I wanted to do something a little more difficult than just a, a, a road marathon. And so I did, I did a road marathon, but I did the Mount Lemmon marathon, which doesn't exist anymore. Actually now it's a different company that puts it on and it's the opposite. So back then you started at the bottom of Mount Lemmon and you ran 26 miles up about 6,400 feet of elevation gain. You finished in, I think, this little town called Summerhaven. And it was uh, it was rough. Also took me six hours to do. And uh, got to the top, and it was rough. It was, it was rough. Now, they start up in the mountain and run down the mountain. So uh, it's, a little, it's a little easier now. But that was technically my first marathon. And then after that, it was an ultra- 50 miler then an Ironman then another 50 miler and since then the only other marathon I've run has been a training race but the first marathon I'll never forget it all by myself 26.2 miles in Scottsdale Arizona and uh, I didn't even get a medal for it not even like a plastic one anyway I guess the moral to to give it a little bit of a, a moral here would be that our plans don't always work out the way we want them to and you can either decide, well, I guess I'm not going to do it, or you can decide to do it anyway. And, uh, and I did it anyway, and it was great. It was super fun, and I got at least five Krispy Kreme donuts out of it. So. Anyway, that's my story for the day, for the week. Thank you so much for watching. There will be another video next week. I'm also doing a video called Minute Monday, which every Monday I post just a one minute video about some thought I had. And this last week, this week's I guess, uh, Minute Monday was a thank you to everybody who shared and liked and watched the first Storytime Friday 
about how I got into running, and it was crazy how much response it got, and I really, really appreciate everybody who hit that share button. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out my vlog, and I will see you next week with another Storytime Friday. Bam.